Hey everyone, it's Jenny, and today I have my Play by Sephora box to unbox for you. Um, of course, Play by Sephora, Sephora Play, it runs $10 a month. Um, there's a little bit of tax, so here in Kentucky it's like $10.60. So it's not bad. You get five sample size beauty items, and also you get either a fragrance bonus or a hair care bonus, which is either like a foil packet. I'd much rather have the perfume sample myself simply because I can I can use that you know you get a little bit more use out of it than foil packet for your hair but whatever now play by sephora is one i am debating on canceling because the last few boxes i just haven't been that satisfied with and they sent me spoilers and they've been wrong it was again this month i think they got like one or two items wrong again in the spoiler email so i'm like what is up with that okay. it's like i understand like if you want to send me that box but you only sent me this box plus it's starting to come to me a lot later in the month than it used to I used to get play by Sephora like boom it usually it came usually before my Ipsy and that is no longer the case so let's get into it shall we of course they always have the little um show off and share using hashtag Sephora play and then, of course, you have your little pamphlet that tells you all about the beauty products. You also get the Beauty Insider card where um, you get 50 Beauty Insider points. And, of course, um, now it's shop in-store or online. So I think they've made that permanent because so many of us kept talking about it. Because, you know, there was a lot of items that you, like, I live close to Sephora inside of JCPenney's and not all the items that I've gotten in my Play by Sephora, I can get there. I, I have to get it online. So I'm glad to see that they are sticking to that. I do like that it has a pumpkin for October. Um, this just has last minute looks for Halloween. So it just kind of gives you a little, that's cute. I like that. I love Halloween stuff. And then of course it shows you all your products. Now the bag, again they did this last month some people hated it i, I kind of liked it but i was hoping for something different this month it's still one of these just like plastic bags i'm like really really like i liked it the first time i don't like it this time like you like october is a month where you can really go there with your designs you can do spooky you could do fall i mean there's just so many so many things and then it's like no it's just a plastic bag again that says open here to start your next a beauty adventure okay and it opens up like a it's like a resealable bag I have, no idea. I have no idea why they did this again. Maybe they just had such extra that they were like, we'll just do October's too. Or I'm wondering if they're just changing the bag to this now. Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments down below. So right off the bat, I do see the a fragrance sample. And this is Kat Von D. And there's actually two because she has Saint and Center. And I know my sister, I think she loves the Center one. Or the Saint one. I can't remember. She likes one over the other. Um, but this is pretty cute. Um, I do like that there was two. So I'm glad that it was the fragrance bonus. So that's a plus. Um, I may try to keep Play by Sephora maybe through the end of the year. And then like when January comes, just sort of do a purge of the stuff that I don't want. Um, is anybody else that way? Because, I, I mean, like I said, I'm, it's just one of those things I'm not that excited about anymore you know this particular box um next is the urban decay all nighter long lasting makeup long lasting makeup setting spray this is really good it's a great travel size um so i, I will definitely use this um maybe even keep it in my purse um but i do like it so yay so far so good then next up, this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a banana stick, contour stick. Let me read about this. A pale yellow light to full coverage foundation stick with a matte finish. Okay, so it's a foundation stick. This multitasking cream foundation provides buildable high, high pigment coverage for a flawless natural looking look. Okay, so it's, it's foundation. 
and that's how much you get in it. I mean, that's an okay size sample. Um, let's see how this will look. That's it is very yellow. Um, I'll just have to play around with it to see. I'm not much of a matte, but this is semi matte, so that relieves me a little bit um, where it's not just like so matte, but we'll just have to see. Um, I've not really heard much about Anastasia foundations. I know more for their eyeshadow and the brow products, so be something new to try. Um, another thing um, they sent me is the Benefit Give Me Brow, which I love, and they have sent me this before in the correct shade. The shade that I like to use is shade five, which that's the deepest. They sent me shade three. I'm gonna try to use this, and it is cute. It's like a little mini, just give me brow. But uh, we'll have to see how three works for me, cause my brows a little bit dark. Wait, I, it might work. It might work. Try not to be so negative about it. But I mean, so far I'm not like mad at this box. So that's why I want to say I'll give it. You know. Let's do November, December, finish out the year. Um, if I'm wowed by those two months, then I'd definitely consider keeping it. But, you know. And then another item is from First Aid Beauty, Fab. And this is coconut cream. This is helps hydrate, smooth, and recharge. It's coconut water cream. So it's not their primer, which I love their coconut smoothie primer. Mm, so good if you have dry skin. But this is an oil-free, lightweight moisturizer that replenishes skin with coconut water. This hydrating water cream softens, smooths, and visibly pumps skin with ingredients rich in electrolytes, amino acids, enzymes, antioxidants, and phytonutrients. So I'm excited to try this. I love most uh, First Aid Beauty products. They're really good for my skin where I have dry skin. So the last item in the bag is from Caudalie. Is it Caudalie? Caudalie? And this is their, this is their Vino Perfect Radiant Serum, an oil-free radiance boosting serum that visibly even skin tone. So how to use, apply a dime size amount to cleanse skin morning and night, which this is a really good size. I will say that. I have used some uh, Caudalie, I think it's Caudalie, Caudalie. Anybody, go ahead and you can correct me. Ooh, this feels very milky and creamy, like something I would really like on my skin where I've got dry skin. Yes, and I need a, a good serum because really that's what that is, is a skin boosting, radiance boosting serum. Doesn't really have a fragrance to it, just kind of smells fresh. So, okay. So with this, I'm still going to keep it for another month. Like I said, probably going to finish the year out, November, December. Um, a little bit upset they didn't get my right shade in the Benefit Give Me Brow, but I'm going to work with it. Um, I do like that they gave me two perfumes. That's sort of like a bonus. Um, super excited to try this and this. Um, the All Nighter is really good. Intrigued by this. We'll have to see. Um, I may try it in my in next week's Makeup of the Week to see how I like it. So let me know what you got in your Play by Sephora box. Do you like it? What do you think of the plastic, the plasticness? <laughs> um, let me know, leave me comments. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know that you like it. Leave comments below, love to read them. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love to have you here. And with that, have a fabulous day. Bye.